All right, so we're in a group of six, but you said to split into two groups of three. So we're with the other group of Mighty Macrobes. I'm Mason Lawson. I'm Isabel Bacchus. And I'm Lucy Richardson. Okay, and we're doing chapter five, viruses and their manipulations. All right. What is a virus? A virus is a genetic element that can multiply only in a living host cell. Not living, not found on a tree, not found on the tree of life. Obligate intercellular parasite needs host cells for energy, metabolic intermediates, protein synthesis, has its own nucleic acid genome, virus particle, virin, extracellular forms of a virus, metabolic inert. Exists outside host and facilitates transmission from one host cell to another. Re replication slash reproduction occurs only upon infection entry into host cell. Um, so what is a virus? Continued viral components and activities. A uh, capsid is the protein shell that surrounds the genome of a virus. Naked viruses, like most bacterial and plant viruses, have no other layers, just a capsid that surrounds nucleic acid. A naked virus equals the protein capsid plus the nucleic acid. Um, enveloped viruses, like many animal viruses, have an outer layer consisting of a phospholipid bilayer from host cell membrane and viral proteins. A nucleocapsid is a nucleic acid plus a protein enveloped viruses. And then uh, virion surface proteins are important for host cell attachment and may include enzymes involved in infection and replication. All right, and this is a picture of the comparison of naked and enveloped virus particles. And it shows the nucleocapsids and the difference between the naked and the enveloped. And looks like the envelope has glycoprotein and the envelope with the glycoproteins on it and the naked one does not otherwise it's the same. So this is a viral replication overview of the virus. So what is a virus continued? Viral components and types of infection. A virulent lictic infection replicates and destroys hosts. Host cell metabolism redirected to support multiplication and virion assembly. Lysogenetic infection is a host cell genetically altered because viral genome becomes part of the host genome. Herpes simplex and then viral genetic material is either DNA or RNA genomes, single-stranded or double-stranded, and it's usually smaller in size and gene content than cells. Alrighty, viral diversity in hosts. Viruses can be classified on the basis of the host they infect, um, like bacterial, which are bacteriophages, um, archaeal, animal, plant, protozoan, and other viruses. Viral diversity in hosts, disease-causing viruses extensively st are extensively studied. Not all viruses have negative effects. Some have beneficial effects, like hepatitis G, co-infection of HIV patients, decreases HIV replication, and infectivity. Structure of the virus. Viruses come in many shapes and sizes. Most viruses are smaller than procre pro procre procre prokaryotic <laughs> cells ranging from 0 0.02 to 0 0.3, I don't remember what that smell is. Micro. Micro. Okay. Micrometers, prokary, okay. Viron structure, caps, so mayor, individual protein molecules arranged in a precision and highly repetitive pattern around the nucleic acid making up the capsid. Some viruses only have one type of capsid protein. Examples, tobacco mosaic virus. Some more than one. Capsids can be put together through self-assembly, spontaneous, or may require host cell folding assistance. Virus symmetry. There are two kinds of capsineers arrangement corresponding to two primary shapes, the rod and the spherical. Helical symmetry, a rod shaped, and some examples are tobacco, mosaic virus, or TMD. The length is determined by the length of the nucleic acid. And then icosahedral symmetry, 
is a spherical shape, and some examples are human papillomavirus, 20 triangular faces, five, three, or two identical segments, most efficient arrangement of subunits in a closed shell, and requires the fewest capsomeres. Combo complex symmetry. Both elements, where it has both elements, a cylindrical, helical, aka slinky, and spherical icosahedral are present. Um, this is a figure of the structure of a T4 bacteria, a complex bacteriophage, and it has both types of symmetry. It shows the head of the bacteriophage, and the collar, and the tail. And it has tail pins and a base plate with tail fibers. Uh, so enveloped viruses have lipoprotein membrane surrounding the nucleocapsid. Most example Ebola other use outer surface proteins to attach an effect. Relatively few enveloped plant enveloped plants or bacterial viruses because of cell walls surrounding cell membrane. Mostly present in animal cell viruses like the flu. Entire viron enter cell animal cells during infection. Enveloped viruses exit more easily. Um, these are some examples of enveloped viruses. So the color coding also applies to arrows and part A is as follows. Red are the spikes of envelope surface glycoproteins. Orange is the lipid envelope. Um, green is the membrane associated proteins. And then blue is purple is the nucleocapsid proteins. And you can see that mostly in picture B. And then C is the influenza virus. And then D is the Vaccinia virus, an enveloped icosahedral pox virus about 350 nanometers wide. Um, so enzymes inside virons are isozyme, uh, which makes hole a hole in the bacterial wall to allow RNA and DNA entry, entry and also lyses bacterial cell to release new virons. Um, and then another enzyme is the neuroanamidasis, which is influenza, and it destroys glycoproteins and glycolipids and allows liberation of viruses from the cell. And then there's nucleic, a nucleic acid polyamorases, um, which are RNA replicases, um, RNA, RNA dependent RNA polymerases, and then reverse transcriptase is RNA dependent DNA polymerase and retrovirus, which is RNA made into DNA. Okay, so culturing, detecting, and counting viruses. Bacterial viruses are easiest to grow, hosts in liquid medium, or spreads as lawn on agar and ico inoculated with viruses. Animal and plant viruses cultivated in tissue cultures from animal organ and culture medium to or hairy root aka transformed root cultures in liquid medium. Type of plant tissue culture that is used to study plant metabolic processes. Detecting and counting viruses, the plaque assay. So there's the Titer, which is the number of infectious virions per volume of fluid. The plaque assay. Plaques are clear zones of cell lysis that develop on lawns of bacterial host cells where successful viral infection occurs. And then you calculate the titer from the number of plaques analogous to counting colonies, and it's a similar process for animal viruses. Plants are much harder. Viruses must be purified and counted. Microscopically, microscopically, or through viral protein specific methods. Mm, qualification of bacterial viruses by a plaque assay. This is a picture that shows it. So, first, the cell phage mixture is poured into a solidified nutrient agar plate, and the mixture contains molten top agar bacterial cells and diluted phage suspension. Then the mixture is left to solidify, and then it's incubated, which allows for bacterial growth and phage replication. 
So this is the animal cell culture in viral plaques. This shows the confluent multi-layer of tissue cultural cells in viral plaques. So this is the overview of the viral replica replication cycle. We're going to go through the steps in the replication cycle. Bacteriophage, T4, a model, lytic virus, temperate, bacteriophages, and lysinogy, and an overview of viruses of eukaryotes. The steps in the replication cycle. Um, major difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic viruses is that nucleic acid only enters in prokaryotes, um, but the entire viron enters into eukaryotes. So the five steps of viral replication in a permissive or supportive, supportive host are attachment or absorption of the viron and uses, which uses specific receptors, penetration, which is the entry and injection of the viron nucleic acid, synthesis of the virus nucleic acid and protein binding the host cell as redirected by the virus, then assembly of capsids and packaging of viral genomes into new virons and the release of the new virons from the host cell. So viruses, virus replication is typically characterized by a one-step growth curve. Viral numbers increase when cells burst. Ellipse phase in early maturation. <laughs> viral genomes genome replicated and transcribed RNA synthesis. In translation, protein synthesis occur. Maturation. maturation. Virus nucleic acids and proteins are assembled onto mature virons and then release packaging of nucleic acids and capsids. Latent periods, ellipse plus maturation, release cell lysis, budding and or excretion. Burst size, number of virons released. Most studied virus is bacteriophage T4. So bacteriophage T4, a model lytic virus. Paras parasites on E. coli, attachment and entry of bacteriophage T4. Major factor in host specificity cannot attach to other bact. Requires complementary receptors on the host cell surface, which usually have other functions, not just for viruses. Receptors include surface cell structures like proteins, carbohydrates, glycoproteins, lipids, and lipoproteins. Receptors on host cells carry out normal functions for the cell, like uptake proteins, cell-to-cell -cell interaction, flagella, and pili. Receptors for T4 are lipopolysaccharides, aka LPS, found only on the outer membranes of gram-negatives called Endotoxins have a component, lipid A, which is toxic. All right, um, the produc production of T4 virons and release. The viron synthesis takes less than 30 minutes and ends in release of new virons from the lysed cell. Within one minute of entry, the host-specific protein synthesis ends and phage-specific protein synthesis starts. The T4 genome encodes three major sets of protein, early, middle, and late proteins. The early protein production stage is enzymes needed for DNA replication and DNA polymerase and proteins that modify host enzymes to express viral genomes. Um, it stops the cells in its tracks. Um, replication of the viral nucleic acids happen and the middle and late proteins production are the head and tail proteins and enzymes required to liberate liberate mature phage particles and uh, the virons assemble and it's the production of the lysosome. Production of T4 virons and release detail of viron assembly. Genome is pumped into capsid under pressure using energy-linked packaging motor. Host cell metabolism, one, produces viral proteins, and two, supplies ATP. Packaging in three stages. Empty proheads, bacteriophage head persecutors, precursors, assembled. Packaging motor assembled, 
at protein head opening and genome pumped into ProHead using ATP. Motor discarded and capsid head sealed. After head is filled, T4 tails, tail fibers, and other components are self-assembled. Late enzyme break membrane and peptoglycan, like lysome and bacteriophages and neuraminidase and flu viruses. Lysis occurs in 100 plus virons released. So this is showing the elliptic cycle of the virulent bacteriophages. And I think we're going to go over that in the next slide. So, so the viral life cycles, the virulent cycle, viruses always lice and kill host after infection. And then the tiferent cycle, viruses establish long-term stable relationship but are capable of virulence, can enter lysogeny where few viral proteins are produced. Viral genome is replicated with host chromosome and passed to daughter cells. The lysogen is the host cell that harbors temperate virus and can result in lysogenetic conversion, which is the genetic change of the host cell, which results in new genetic properties like virulence in pathogens. And pathogenetic vibrio filaria carries lysogenetic phage. Um, the life cycle of a temperate phage, um, like lambda and P1. So in lysogeny, genome is either integrated into the bacterial chromosome, forming a prophage, which is viral DNA, um, and lysinogy, lysinogy maintained by phage-encoded repressor proteins. Um, and the repressor sits on the DNA, preventing the host RNA polymerase to transcribe the viral genome. Then an activation of the repressor includes, induces the lictic stage, which is called induction. Um, the viral DNA is excised, phage, early, middle, and late proteins are produced, and the virons produce, and at the host cell lyses. The cell stress, um, like DNA damage, induces lictic pathways, which is the viral repressor protein is broken apart by RecA protein of the host due to UV or other things. Okay. Um, major parts capsid in DNA slash RNA genome, infection and takeover of hosts, assemble and release are universal. Eukaryotic viruses classified by genomes, DSDNA, SSRNA, rarely DSRNA, have reversed transcriptase, RNA vir viral. Animal viruses also ha often have envelopes, phospholipid bilayer, three key differences between ba bacteriophages and other viruses. Entire viron enters animal cell. Replication of viral genome happens in the nucleus for many animal viruses. Viroplasms. Membrane-bound viral factories form in some eukaryotic cells to increase viral assembly rate and production from host defense. So this is the mini virus viral factory. Do you want to pause here? Since we're almost yeah. Okay. 